What's going on everybody? Today I am here with the head honcho at Blue Guardian, CEO, Mr. Sean, and today we're going to be chatting about his journey in trading as well as how he managed to set up Blue Guardian and how it really came to fruition from the beginning stages to where we are now as one of the fastest growing prop firms in the industry today. So let's hop right into that interview now. So we got Sean here the CEO at Blue Guardian. Um, so we wanted to go a bit back into depth on exactly what, you know, the process was before you started trading. Where were you at before you had discovered trading? And how did you first hear about, you know, trading? And did you start off with, you know, Forex and indices and those kinds of things? Or did you, you know, do stocks or crypto? Um, yeah, so we're very interested to hear um, a bit more about your background in trading. Yeah. Um, so I probably it was quite early on in my uh, in my life when I got into trading. I was about I think I was 15 years old when I was just scrolling on Instagram, and you know you see one of those you know forex gurus in their Lambo uh, living their lavish lives, and I was like straight away I was like uh, focused on. I was like, oh my god, this is what I want for myself. You know, not long after I come to realize, you know, it's, the forex trading life is not like that at all. It's a lot of hard work and a lot of um, back end stuff. It's not, you know, what you see on social media. So um, quite like a lot of people, I bought one of these gurus courses and, you know, I was spending all my life, like all day, 24 seven, just like <laughs> learning about this and getting involved in the course. The course wasn't that good. Um, so after that, I kind of like bought um, a different course. And then I started getting to... Um, I think it was NFX, no, non, no nonsense forex on YouTube. Some of you might know him, and he basically teaches you how to create your own algorithms. Um, you know, with EAs and no indicators. Sorry, on uh, MetaTrader. So I was really involved in that for about a good year, and it, I think about seventeen at the time now. And it, I was doing this throughout the whole of my college um, college life. So I was basically building my own algorithms with you know indicators and trading them, yeah. and then. Not long after that, I got into something called quant trading. I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but um, it's basically yeah. using, yeah. So it's a bit like using sort of, um, data, yeah, yeah, exactly like code, coding data, um, and a little bit of machine learning. Uh, I think this software that I started to use was called Strategy Quant, where it would actually kind of with, you could input a little bit of code and it could build your own uh, system for you, and it was really really cool. And ever since then, I was um, you know completely obsessed with it. Uh, and I actually had a friend get that is this moving from the from my my side of trading to the prop side. I actually had a friend um, who started his own prop firm, and mid while he was doing his own prop firm, he didn't really tell me much about it. And I was kind of focusing on kind of EA building and trying to pass FTMO. I was uh, very involved in that, but he eventually told me like, "Oh, mate, I started my own prop firm. Uh, I'm doing this." He he was over in Canada, and he was doing amazing for himself, and. I was like, he, he basically taught me the way of how he'd done it and the process he started it. And this wasn't long after the collapse of um, funding talent, I think it was. And I know the CEO yeah. of that came out and she gave a little bit of a background on how prop firms were run. Yeah, so back to when I like kind of got into the prop industry, I was, uh, personally, I was trying to pass FDMO uh, with my own EAs that are coded. And that was going really well. I managed to pass a few funded accounts with them. And like I said, I had a, a friend from Canada. He also started his own prop firm. And he kind of gave me the uh, information on the back end for how they were run um, and a bit of insight into this whole, you know, the whole back end of, of prop firms and brokers, et cetera. Uh, so he basically gave me a lot of advice. And when I turned 18, I basically took all the money from my trust fund um, and I partnered with Eric. Uh, Eric's, Eric's an amazing guy. I've been working from the very beginning. He was doing uh, the EA and the coding, doing the quant trading with me as well. Um, and he basically put all the money that he had as well. And he was in uni at the time. I think he was about 22 or 23 years old. And he basically, we, we both were like, we can make this happen. You know, we've got this access to this guy who's running a firm, a pretty big firm, and he's got this information that he's got. We can do this, you know, um, let, let's get it, let's get, let's go, get, get it going. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, so we both put loads of money into it. We both started our own prop firm. And we actually had no kind of, we had no like system or backend right in the beginning. So everything we had to do manually, it was so, it was so funny. It was so interesting because in the beginning, we literally had all these traders who we had to monitor with our own kind of like EA. Uh, so we had a server loaded up on a VPS um, and all the, about 20 different terminals. And we would literally sit there and monitor these tw like all the time, just making sure, you know, everything's going well, how the, tra how the traders doing. Um, 
And this was until we, before we started getting a lot more clients. We then partnered with a, a pretty big a tech supplier who do a lot of the tech for the big front firms out there. And that made life so much easier. Once we started to get the, the system back in, in place, you know, we started getting better broker deals. You know, life became a hundred times easier. And then we could you, then we could begin to start scale. And that's when uh, Blue Guardian really started to take off. But this was back in the early days. Um, this was like around the start of 2022. So we have came we came very far since then, and we've uh, developed quite a lot. Okay, so when you, when you started Blue Guardian, were you looking? Did, did you? You said you had a friend in Canada that you that taught you a lot about um, the back end of prop trading and and how to run a prop firm. Um, was he? You would say a lot of the reason, you know, for you having all of the tools necessary to start um, your own prop firm, or did you you reach out to other people and find out more? You said um, in the beginning, you know, you were using like a bit more of like a, if you want to call it like a primitive way of tracking accounts and those kinds of things. Obviously your tech evolved since then. Um, but in terms of getting all the tools you needed to run a prop firm and, and, and the knowledge, did it all come from him or were there other people that, you know, influenced you and were instrumental in, turning Blue Guardian into the prop firm it is today, basically. Yeah, so um, in the beginning, I would say he was kind of like a catalyst. You know, he gave me the kind of tools and the knowledge right in the beginning. Um, and then, you know, we started to, along the way, I've, I've met so many, you know, intelligent, um, clever people that we've partnered with. Like I mentioned, our tech supplier, they they made, they made they played a massive role in uh, allowing us to grow. Uh, as well, the goes like Purple Trading, they were, you know, our initial broker that we started with. Um, they helped us out load, helped us out loads with um, you know, trying to run the back end, you know, uh, you know, dealing with the traders, how to monitor it, et cetera. But um, I would say, yeah, he he did that guy in Canada did play a massive, massive part in it. So I feel like without him, I wouldn't have had the confidence to start it. I feel like a lot of people out there, um, they just come from like a normal background and a lot of the time they don't believe that they're gonna be able to 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 create something from nothing. Um, and essentially this guy kind of gave me the confidence. He was like, look. You don't need to be one of these, you know, huge companies with this massive backing of oh, like of all these like this hedge fund, for example. Uh, you can go out there and if you can, you know, if you can be trustworthy and you can get the trust of your clients and your customers, then that, that's literally all you need. And you just need to work hard and put dedication to it and you can make it happen. So he was he definitely helped me a lot in, you know, becoming more self-confident um, and put myself out there a lot, 100 percent Yeah. So that's one of the things I often say, like. When it comes to if you're wanting to achieve something, um, it becomes so much easier once you link up with people that are already doing what you want to do. And it's not just because you can learn from them, right? Obviously, that helps. But psychologically, I mean, as a trader and um, I mean, obviously, your background in trading, you'll know, like, psychologically, it really is everything in terms of business but not just trading, but business and, you know, running a company, you, you need to psychologically be able to believe that you can do what you're setting out to do and that it's not too much. Um, and seeing somebody else do it who started off, you know, at a so sort of similar place to you really, really helps um, like a lot. And that's what I keep saying um, a lot is that one of the biggest things for me personally was, you know, meeting people doing exactly what I wanted to do right now. And they started off probably worse off than me and, just seeing them do it and, 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 you know, realizing that you don't need to be some big guy who comes from, you know, comes from money or you, you, do, you don't need like to know special people and those kinds of things to get into it. Um, it really, really helps. Um, but obviously like it wouldn't have just been plain sailing from there. Obviously we, we all have like serious challenges, whether it be in trading and business and those kinds of things. What were like some of the biggest challenges you had when you were, you know, getting the platform off the ground? And obviously since then it's it's developed a lot and we'll get into that. But I, I really wanted to dive more into um, when you started to to get Blue Guardian off the ground, just before that breakthrough moment, obviously there must have been some, some really good challenges and obviously there's day-to-day -day challenges, but um, some of the big ones that you could remember that you managed to overcome to sort of, um, move to where you guys are today. Um, I'd really love to hear about that. Yeah, hundred percent. Like I said, there, there's always you know challenges and problems with any business. Even now, you might think you know we're we're so advanced, we've got you know we're we're running quite well. Like we still get issues a bit week by week that we have to deal with. We have to get our team and our tech team behind it. 
Um, so there are always going to be issues. In the beginning, especially when we were a little bit less developed, there were more, um, you know, larger issues that we had to deal with that could have been more, you know, not catastrophic, but could have been more of a bigger deal if we didn't get it sooner, uh, sorted sooner. Uh, there's so many, I can't really name specific ones, but uh, off the top of my head, I remember once we had like our, our whole server basically got shut down with uh, hundreds of traders who were like, um, were being monitored on it. And that was a massive issue. Like I, I remember sleepless nights trying to deal with this issue. You know, we would get our live chats were like booming, people angry with us. You know, we had these issues. We managed to be able to get past it and, and work around it by getting a new server set up. Um, but in the beginning, you know, these kind of things, they are, they can become a big issue, especially if, you know, you, you haven't, um, your brand hasn't been developed properly yet because people might leave, leave bad reviews. They might not think, oh, these aren't trusted, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, in the beginning, there can be um, these issues that need to be sorted quickly. But we're lucky that we've managed, you know, I've got a good team behind me, a good tech team. And these guys were literally working sleepless nights as well behind it. Uh, that was one issue. I'm trying to think of another issue. I remember, I think our payment provider got shut down. And there was, this was a massive issue. We couldn't actually receive any money for like, I think it was a week or something. And this was quite a big issue. You know, there was uh, a payment boy that blocked one of our accounts with hundreds of thousands in it. And it was quite an issue. We managed to like get it back in the end and sort it. But these are the issues when you do start a business right in the beginning can definitely have a big role, um and can have a big strain on, on the business. So it is good to, you know, have a good team behind you that can get it sorted quickly. I, yeah, so obviously, like, when you're trying to get something off the ground, the last thing you want is, like, a PR disaster. You don't want, exactly. you know, service to have issues, or especially. And I know that at Blue Guardian, you know, the whole um, priority is behind service. And I think that's one of the biggest things that I really enjoy about Blue Guardian is that, especially with the Discord and, and the service, the customer service people that you have working for you, um, like it's really, really good service right off the bat. So um, I think that putting a prior priority behind that is is very, very important for a prop firm nowadays, um, especially because like when it comes to, um, you know, people looking at um, using different prop firms, um, a customer always remembers, first of all, you know, the negative experiences that they have. So if they have, you know, a bad something go wrong, you, it needs to get fixed as quickly as possible because they're going to remember the negative over the positive even. It's just how the, the, the psyche works. So I think in terms of, you know, running a very successful prop firm, having, you know, customer service at the forefront is really, really important. And I think that Blue Guardian really gets that right um, because, yeah, I mean, the service is really on point. Um, so, like, another thing I want to chat about is, you know, when it comes to, Obviously, you've overcome a lot of, you know, boundaries when it came to breaking into the industry. And obviously, like you came from humble be beginnings, like you said, it's not necessarily starting off as a big company, you know, with, with you know, the amount of people working for you right now and um, the way the company is running. Um, where were there any like specific milestone sort of achievements that you remember specifically that were like turning points into, you know, Blue Guardian becoming one of you know the fastest growing profits in the industry right now, which it is. Which congratulations, by the way, um, it's insane. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, you guys are killing it right now, um, and um, I think it's a lot of it is to do with the service, um, and you know obviously the product offering that you guys have is really great. Um, but there must have been like a milestone sort of achievement that you know pivoted you towards. Um, the success that you're having right now. Um, can you recall any of any of those? Yeah, um, I feel like at the moment, in the last few months especially, our growth has been insane. Um, a massive milestone for myself was hitting 10,000 members on our Discord. Uh, that was, I think, I believe last month actually, so quite quite new. I think we're at about 15,000 now. That that was massive for me. I was like, I can't believe you know that we have this reach where 10,000 people want to join our server and you know look what we're posting and that's only going to keep growing and growing um you know we, our social media are growing uh, really really well um i think one of the biggest biggest thing for me personally that i remember a lot of the time is there was this one trader i think he withdrew around like thirty thousand dollars and this was around thirty to forty thousand dollars last year and i remember we withdrew it to him and this literally completely changed his life um i believe he was from like india or pakistan and he basically uh sent a sort of crazy email saying how like his life 
Uh, he can now, you know, this is going to support his family for months and months, if not years. Um, and literally the smile and the, the happiness that I had in myself to, uh, that I felt that day was like crazy. I was like, I can't believe I've been able to make this for someone. And this is going to happen for so many more traders. And that's what we want. To be able to do that and change someone's life, it's it's a different feeling. It's better, better best feeling in the world, to be honest. Right. And obviously, you know, as a prop firm, you're continually looking for people like that to add to your prop firm. Um you know, having those kinds of traders that can pull such big, you know, profits um, is, you know, obviously an amazing thing to have. And um, obviously you being in charge of, of you know, distributing that is insane. Um, what kind of like um, qualities do you look for in people that you're looking to work with in your prof firm in terms of traders that you bring on board? Because obviously, you know, prof firms are open to anyone, but what kind of qualities do you think you need to be successful as a as a prop firm trader? Yeah, definitely. Um, so for our prop firm, personally, we don't really have many restrictions on your trading style. Uh, we allow you from any country, you know, we don't discriminate. Um, we are pretty free when it comes to that. I know a lot of the firms have, you know, different different restrictions on how they want you to trade. We believe if you are, we believe if you're profitable and you can prove that you're profitable by doing our valuation then you deserve a shot at becoming uh, funded. And the qualities that we look for in traders, really, we believe that we have developed a model that can you know, can, can prove that a trader is consistent. And if they're consistent and they're disciplined, then that, that's, all we, that's all we look for you know, uh, in, our, in our traders. And if they can consistently prove that over time and time, then they, we offer stuff like scaling plans so they can uh, gain more capital, they can buy more accounts, pass them, merge them. And overall, if you know if they're consistent, they can they can get a larger uh capital size to trade. All right. So and and for the traders that do, you know, end up joining the Blue Guardian team, right? Um obviously we've got some really, really great people working at Blue Guardian as traders. And um how do you make sure that they continue to grow you know, in their trading, you know, um, is it built in to some degree to the evaluation that you have or, you know, the rules, but how do they continue to develop as traders as they, as they work with Blue Guardian? Yeah. So we have, you know, we have a 24 hour support team. If they have any issues, they can contact us. We are actually uh, planning to introduce uh, account managers. So these are guys that, you know, that are going to be dedicated to specific traders that if they have any issues, if they need you know, further assistance on their account, uh, they, they can contact these dedicated managers that will look after them and help them. We believe that will that will be you know so much so helpful. I think I believe some other firms do that, but a lot of firms don't offer anything like this. They leave the trader to just completely be on their own. You know, it's your own problem. If you breach, is your issue. You know, if you make money, like there's no communication between the actual trader. And we want to breach that kind of wall. We want to break that wall, and we want to be kind of like you are on the team with us. You know, we you, we want you to actually be on the team of us rather than just someone, you know, remotely doing some, doing their own thing. We want them to actually believe and um, feel that they're part of the team. Uh, something else to push this is we actually want to offer, uh, this is quite cool. I don't think any other firms do this, but we actually are now going to introduce, I think in the following month, we have plans to introduce every funded trader of us is going to receive their own merch, uh, their own Blue Guardian uh, like T-shirt or jumper. I believe it might be a jumper. I think if you go to the about page, you can see myself and Eric wearing a jumper. You know, we I think this will be great. You know, make make the trader feel like they're more on part with the team, um, and 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 build more of a community. Right. Yeah. I think I think it's really important to have that personal relationship with the traders, and I think that that's also something that's going to set you guys apart from from other prop firms because a lot of prop firms they're not really super interested in building a personal relationship with the traders. And it's really nice to also have, you know, someone there for, you know, if issues do arise, you've literally got a personal relationship with someone like an account manager or something like that. And I really like that. I think, you know, there's some brokers that do that. And I think that that's something that's missing from the prop industry that I think would be a really, really great, you know, introduction, you know, addition to the whole model that I think a lot of prop firms are missing out on doing. Um, yeah. I think I, in terms sorry, of... Just, just, sorry, yeah. just, sorry, sorry to cut you off. Just one thing I completely forgot to mention um, about, you know, maintaining that relationship with the, the trader, making sure they can, you know, develop uh, in time. We offer also, we also offer something called a guardian protector. 
I don't know if you were going to mention the number question, but I think this is going to be great. This question because we want to we want to ensure that we have a tool um, that can you know, that can look after the trader and keep them protected. If you're not sure what the guardian protector is, it's actually a built-in equity protector um, that you can set to have a daily stop loss to ensure you don't lose your account. We're the only firm to actually offer something like this, and the only firm to offer some sort of risk management. In the future, we intend to add new features to this. Um, like a take profit and other different risk management tools to ensure that the trader uh, isn't, you know, just given an account and left to trade. We want to ensure that they can maintain that account for as long as possible and grow with us as a firm. You know, risk management is such an important thing that so many traders kind of miss, you know, overlook and miss out. And that's why we think as a firm, it's mandatory that we should offer a tool like this. And we are the first firm to, to, do, to do something like this, which is amazing. Yeah, uh, I think that's one of the biggest things as well about Blue Guardian, in my opinion, is the Guardian Protector. And I've gone on about it before in the past. And that's why, you know, I jumped on with you guys and had my accounts with you guys, because really like having, you know, it's it's rare to have prop firms have your real interests at heart. And I think having that equity protection is a really big deal. So it's really, really great um, to have that, that, you know, backup safety net there and i think adding a take profit to that is just going to push it to a whole new level i think um having something that closes and i i know i've had this happen so many times on my accounts but you literally pass the challenge three times because you hit your target and you know it retraces a tiny bit or there's a spread issue or um you try and close and it closes just below your target and if you've mm -hmm. got a you know a take profit for your overall account it, it massively changes your you know your odds at, at passing because i've literally had people have i've heard of people have their accounts literally a quarter of a percent from passing and they literally the the account dances over that 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 line of of passing but it, because they they they're either not watching it completely mm -hmm. to close at that level or because um, obviously of spread or, or those kinds of things, it doesn't close at the exact right moment and they literally have to continue to do that. And the next trade that they take, so say they close out and they're like millimeters from the, their goal, the next trade they take is a loss straight, straight off the bat. Now suddenly they're you know one, 2% away and psychologically that just ruins the whole thing for them. So I think having that on board like totally changes the game. Um, Definitely. And uh, I mean, like I think Blue Guardian is is definitely one of the firms that's you know it's leading in terms of innovation, and I think as a whole, like the prop firm industry is you know, a lot of a lot of them are just doing the same thing. So I think that like Blue Guardian having all of these new features really like sets you guys apart from everybody else. Um, where do you think that you know in general the prop firm industry is going? Do you think that there's like um, certain trends or you know, things that you've seen that people are going to start to do more or, um, you know, what is the future for prop firm trading in your opinion? Yeah, so the, the prop industry is growing at a crazy rate. Um, we've seen a new prop firm being opened literally every single week. Um, th this is good and bad. Uh, like I said, the, the good reason for this is there are going to be better firms, the legitimate firms that are coming up with better, better models and less restrictions for the trader, which is great. But on the bad side of things, a lot of these firms aren't going to be able to afford to back their trader. And that's why so many firms these days are getting listed as scams. And, you know, it's, it's given a little bit of a bad name to the prop industry. Eventually, I do believe in about... I do believe in a few years regulations will come in, which I think that's going to be quite a good thing because the firms that can afford, you know, their licensing and, you know, are big enough to survive, you know, they're going to, they're going to stay around. Whereas all these firms that are, you know, be seen as scams and not legitimate, they're going to basically have to be thrown out the equation, uh, which means so many more traders are going to have like a trust, trustworthy option um, rather than getting a the scam these days. So, yeah, with with the prop firm industry developing as quickly as it as it is, and you know, creating you know such a huge you know demand for prop firms and you know new innovative you know products as such, um, how how do you foster you know developing new ideas and innovations within Blue Guardian? Yeah, um, so our team right now is growing, growing every single every single month. 
And we made it so that, the, you know, the managers at the firm, the guys running it, myself, Eric, a uh, few admins, our time is freed up quite a lot with, you know, not dealing with so much support work. So we can focus all of our time on coming out, you know, with new business ideas, new ideas for the traders, new ways we can make conditions better for the traders, um, you know, different tools that we could integrate. For example, the Blue Guard, uh, the Guardian Protector, that, that's a massive one. We want to also put into that, you know, a few other features, which we think will be great. Um I think I think being a, being able to you know have time is the most important thing. You want your CEO um, to be able to see managers of the firm to have enough time freed up so they can actually come up with new ideas that can benefit the traders the most. Right, um, and you know, as as uh, in terms of you know, if 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 traders are looking to work with you, right, and they're looking to take you know the challenge with Blue Guardian, um, what would you tell them right now? as to why they should take the evaluation with you and how do they know that they can trust you guys as a firm? Because obviously there's so many, and like you said, that there's, you know, you know, other prop firms that you don't know if they can back the trader. What, what would you tell them? You know, obviously I've done my research on you guys and, you know, I've had really great experiences with you, but what would you tell somebody new that hasn't heard of you guys yet? Um, what would you tell them uh, if they wanted to jump on with you? Yeah, definitely. Um, so Blue Guardian actually has one of the more relaxed uh, models out there with less rules. So we really want to accompany uh, as many traders as possible. It, like I said, if you are profitable and you can prove that with our valuation, we want you on board. We want you to be part of the team of us. You know, if you if you you can also join our Discord. There's literally thousands of traders in there that are funded, that are posting payouts, five five figure payouts out all the time. And these traders, you know, are coming forth with their uh, interviews. I believe you're doing some interviews as well with some traders this week. And these kind of things as well, these can help you um, because it can build trust. You know, there are traders out there that are working with us, have good uh, like have really good experience with us. Our trust pilot as well, excellent. We have an amazing score in there, four point eight uh, with hundreds of reviews. So all these little things that add up that other firms don't really have, you know, that, that can that can show that we are more trustworthy um, to go, the more trustworthy option to go with. All right. Well, thank you very much, Sean. I really appreciate you spending time and chatting to me. Um, I'm really excited about where Blue Guardian is going, and I really like your guys' offering, as I've said many times on my channel already. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for making time to chat to me and um, share a little bit more, you know, um, of what is happening with Blue Guardian and um, what we can expect for the future. So, yeah, thank you very That's much. Perfect. Cheers, mate. Thank you for having me, Ethan. See you later. Bye-bye. Sweet.